He considered himself a simple foot soldier. We remember on his jubilant release, he exclaimed, I quote, I stand here before you, not as a prophet, but as a humble servant of you, the people. We the people need unifying symbols in which we rally around. And we often elevate symbols to take, who take on the dreams and aspirations of millions of us to deity-like status. But it became selfless symbol of unrelenting resistance, of hope, of resilience, and of victory. He embodied the sacrifices, courage, and the determination of millions who worked in concert to overthrow the evils of apartheid. Perhaps his resolute commitment to his ideals in the face of seemingly unsurmountable odds, his incredulous strength of character and integrity, and his affirmation of the narrative that indeed good can triumph over evil are ah, why we admire and we revere him so. Madiba internalized the courage and determination of his own people and gave the absolute best of himself to give to South Africa its political freedom. But even having achieved the highest aspirations of humanity, the Madiba I know is a simple, grounded, and humble man.